Hey fishing friends, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. This is the second time that I've made this video. The first time I had cat hair on my shirt. Really frustrating. If I still have a cat hair on there, I apologize. I'm not going to remake this video again. Today we are looking at the Sub Tig High Powered Waterproof Light designed for the GoPro 3, 4, 5, and 6. Here's the good news. If you have a GoPro Hero 4, the two batteries that come with this light will work in your GoPro 4. Not necessarily a Hero 4, or you might have a Hero 4, it'll work in all four of the GoPros. I mean, all of the GoPro 4s. Anyway, I think you know what I mean. When you're not using the light, you'll have two extra batteries, like I have the Hero 4 Silver. Good for me. I'm going to put a link in the description area below. You can go to Amazon and get one of these for about 27 bucks. But before you run off, let me show you some really cool features about this light. First of all, on the top of the light, it has a sleeve. The light comes equipped with a clip. Attach your GoPro to the clip. Slide it in the sleeve. GoPro goes on top. On the bottom of this light, it has the attachment where you can use your multiple GoPro adapters. Attach this to your harness, your hat, your tripod, wherever you need to attach it to. Now, this light has three different settings, high, low, and it also has strobe. Now, to get to the batteries is really easy. It's got a little door on the side. You just flip it open like that, and then the back door opens up really easily and both of your batteries are in there. That's where you connect your USB connector to charge your batteries. Just leave them plugged into the light. It also comes with a USB connector, the clip, the light, and this little rubber thingy right here, which I'm pretty sure is a GoPro lens cap, which I never use. I love the way this light works. The battery actually lasts a long time. I fished one morning for about three hours, and I know I kept this on for at least two hours of those three hours while I was fishing, and uh, the batteries never ran down. I don't know how long they last, but they last a long time. This thing has a great warranty. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what this light looks like in a dark room, then I'm gonna turn it on, and if you haven't seen my three mornings of snook fishing video, I used this light in conjunction with my headlamp and also my secondary action camera video light um, to record all three of those mornings and the bridge lighting. And uh, you know, those videos turned out really good. I've also used this light just pretty much by itself when I was doing some marina fishing. And um, it wasn't, I only caught three fish, so I'm not gonna like put together a video of that. But I'll show you a quick clip of when I caught a sheephead and you'll actually see how well the light works in that situation. So let's take a look at these clips. So there's the camera on without the light. And there it is with the light. That thing really puts out. I mean, right now, that TV over there on the wall, that thing's about 10, 10 feet away. Was well, not what I was expecting to catch, but he's definitely a keeper. We should keep that dude. Okay, we're back. Thumbs up are always appreciated. Make sure you subscribe. And remember, there's a big world out there with lots of big fish, so get out there and catch some. Life is worth living. Live it. See you.